yes, and it's, it's spreading like a cancer through all the Western industrialized democracies. America is a holdout. We still do not have a federal hate crimes law. ADL wants to internationalize uh, hate, hate crimes enforcement of, uh, it, uh, with the rights to deport people like Rudolph and uh, Zundel and, and others. They want to have you arrested if you say global warming isn't real. Th that's right. They're very aggressive, very... Uh, 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 Orwellian in their desires to uh, basically take away all of our rights. All right, Pastor Ted Pike, truthtellers.org. Thank you for the great work uh, you're doing. Uh, let me talk to you here behind the scenes. I may even hold you over if you can. If not, okay. we'll, we'll go to our next guest. But I, I want to talk about what it would be like under the Soviet system because really I've studied it. The corporate system is more fascist, but the implementation is more Soviet. It's kind of a kind of a hybrid. What will Soviet America be like? Better. Can you imagine federalizing you local police? It's already insane? happening and making them political officers just like the Soviet Union. Will it make it easier on Pastor you Ted Pike, I already see the media setting me up. Got someone to openly blame. saying the New York Times they've got to put you gatekeepers on the web. The uh, CEO of a news group, Rupert Murdoch's company, saying arrest bloggers, ban free speech. I mean, they really are starting to figure out that we're taking them on, and so they're going to try to get nasty. I don't see it succeeding, but but if they pass this bill under the Soviet model that they're adopting, what will happen to Alex Jones? Well, the broadcasting industry is going to start receiving guidelines from the FCC that language which might induce aid, abet, and so on, according to the 1968 law, uh, Title 18, Section 2A, it will now become indictable as a federal crime, and it'll be in the same category as inciting to riot or shouting fire in a crowded theater, things like that. And you, you'll be experiencing a, a tremendous pressure coming down uh, to force you to become much more neutral and bland in what you say. If we want to, again, if we want to know what, what uh, American talk radio will be like, just go up to Canada. Uh, up in Canada, you can talk about gardening, you can talk about sports or whatever you want, but you cannot criticize federally protected groups uh, such as homosexuals, the Zionists, and so on uh, in specific terms. You certainly cannot uh, say from the pulpit or from the airwaves, if you're Christian broadcasters, that the, the Jews killed Christ 2,000 years ago. That is considered a hate crime in Canada. And it's also considered a hate crime in Canada to quote Leviticus or Romans from the Bible, uh, saying it's, uh, homosexuality is an abomination. That will give you an immediate $5,000 fine if, if that pastor ever preaches again on that subject from those verses. He is facing contempt of court charges, and which means prison. And everybody's so cowed that the police are like desperate spiders in black holes. David Icke comes walking in saying, I think there's reptoids from planet, you know, whatever. And they say, that's code. Arrest him. And David's going, no, brother, peace, love. Yeah. It's flying saucers. You're not even allowed to talk about flying saucers up there. They arrest you. Everything is hate. Yeah, and it, it, there's so many other groups that want to get on the hate crimes bandwagon, uh, claiming uh, they have also been victimized by white, Christian, heterosexual so. You know, well, what about you're... all the uh, black students in synagogues and stuff where they catch them putting the swastikas on themselves? This is clearly a political weapon. Oh, oh yeah. And uh, the, the media is in collusion with this. The, 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 there is no recourse. I mean, we just simply have got to keep this hate bill from passing. And I encourage everybody to come to truthtellers.org immediately after this program. Watch the Holder video. It'll, it'll make your blood boil. And then get those calls off immediately. Well, 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 sure, and we're going to get that number out in just a moment one more time. But the minutes we have left here, let's say it passes, though, and they start federalizing the police more and political officers show up. What do I do when the police show up here? I guess I just get in handcuffs and go to the prison. That's freedom. I mean, th this isn't America. I'm not going along with it. And anybody that tries to arrest me for my political speech is a terrorist. Yeah, uh uh, there's a lot of big talk out there. I hear on talk radio people says, "Well, we're going to fight. We're going to go to jail. We're going to. We're not going to submit." But when when you're facing ten years in prison for criticizing federally protected groups, 
uh, the people shut up pretty fast. And the record in Canada and all throughout Europe, Australia, is that uh, people of independence and courage and liberty uh, become very docile very quickly. And, uh, th- th- this and then the fun. sky's the limit. Then the real raping, the That's taking right. the farms, the ranches, the CPSing the kids, yeah. the brainwashing the children, yeah. the indoctrinating uh, fifth graders like Michael Jackson would do at the public schools. Just basically will be ruled by Michael Jackson snapping turtles. And that's basically the end of it. That's right. And it's a fantasy to think that we can take this, this law to the court because the courts are so liberal, so left-wing, and pro-hate bill to begin with. They, they make a mockery well, of I mean, it. I wouldn't even call them liberal. These are disgusting, anti-American, anti-free speech. You know, you, you may hate what I say. Somebody may hate what Ted says. Somebody may ha- hate what Bill Clinton says. But they have a right to say it. This is the United States. And... We need to all stand up against this and, and just realize this is another symptom of just how rotten Washington is. It isn't enough they're stealing us blind. They want to tell us to sit down and shut up or we'll be arrested. This is just outrageous. Uh, Reverend Ted Pike, fire those numbers out in closing. Yeah, the, the full free number to your member of the Senate is 877 851 6437, and the toll number is 202. 202- Two two five three one two one, and just ask the staffers to watch the very disturbing. Listen, video. we're gonna we're gonna have you up as this develops, Reverend Ted Pike. Thank you so much. Godspeed, thought criminal. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thought criminal. I'll say bye to you right now.